Welcome to this tutorial on how to write an article using LaTeX and Teix Studio. In this video, I will show you the basic code that you need to create a simple article and explain what each command does. To write a document in LaTeX, you need to use a text editor and a compiler. There are many text editors and compilers that you can use for LaTeX. In this video, we will use Teix Studio, which is a free and easy-to-use integrated development environment for LaTeX. It provides you with a text editor, a compiler, and various tools and features that make writing LaTeX documents easier and faster. If you don't have LaTeX and Teix Studio installed on your computer yet, you can watch our previous video where we show you how to install them on Ubuntu. You can find the link to that video in the description below. Once you have them installed, you can follow along with this video. Once you have Teix Studio installed, you can open it and create a new file. You will see a blank window where you can type your code. The first thing you need to do is to specify the document class, which determines the overall layout and formatting of your document. To do this, you use the backslash document class command at the beginning of your file. The argument of this command is the name of the document class that you want to use. In this case, we will use the article class, which is suitable for short documents such as articles, reports, or essays. Next, you need to define the title, author, and date of your article using the backslash title, backslash author, and backslash date commands. These commands store the information that will be displayed on the title page of your document. The backslash today command automatically inserts the current date in your document. Then, you need to begin the document environment with the backslash begin document command. This is where you write the actual content of your article. The first thing you need to do in the document environment is to generate the title page with the backslash make title command. This command automatically creates a title page using the information that you defined in the preamble. After that, you can start writing your article content to insert some random text in your document. The Lipsum package is a useful tool that this can be helpful when you want to test the layout and formatting of your document without having to write the actual content. To use the Lipsum package, you need to load it in the preamble of your document with the backslash use package command. The preamble is the part of your document that comes before the backslash begin document command where you define the settings and packages that you want to use for your document. To load the Lipsum package, backslash use package, Lipsum. After loading the Lipsum package, you can use the backslash Lipsum command in the document environment to insert some dummy text. The argument of this command is a number or a range of numbers that specify which paragraphs of the dummy text you want to insert. For example, if you want to insert the first paragraph of the dummy text, you type backslash Lipsum 1. If you want to insert paragraphs 2 to 4, you type backslash Lipsum 2 to 4. Once we have finished writing our code, we can compile it using Teix Studio and see how our document looks like. We should see a title page with our title, author, and date information, followed by several paragraphs of dummy text. Now, after writing the article, we need to structure it using sections in LaTeX. Sections are headings that indicate the topic or theme of a part of your document. Sections can be nested into subsections and subsubsections up to six levels deep. Sections help you organize your document into logical units and make it easier for your readers to follow your arguments and ideas. To create a section in LaTeX, you use the backslash section command followed by the section title in curly braces. For example, backslash section introduction. To create a subsection within a section, you use the backslash subsection command followed by the subsection title in curly braces. For example, backslash subsection motivation. To create a sub-subsection within a subsection, you use the backslash sub-subsection command followed by the sub-subsection title in curly braces. For example, backslash sub-subsection research question. You can also create lower-level sections using the backslash paragraph and backslash subparagraph commands followed by the section titles in curly braces. 
However, these sections are not numbered and are usually not recommended for academic writing. A possible way to reformulate this paragraph is You can write as many sections and subsections as you want in your article. For instance, in this article, we have two sections, introduction and background. If you want to show a list of all your sections and subsections at the start of your document, you have to use the backslash table of contents command right after the backslash make title command. The backslash make title command creates a title page with the information you gave in the preamble. This is how our example article looks like so far. That's it for this video. I hope you learned how to create and structure an article using sections and subsections in LaTeX. In the next video, I will show you how to add figures, tables, equations, and references to your article using LaTeX. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you next time.